All right, RV greenies, we're gonna stabilize. As you can see, it's off just a little bit and it's off by one notch. And all we have to do is actually put one board, at least according to the boards that I have, so it'll be right even. So I'm just gonna grab a board here and um, throw it under both tires. <laughs> I'm gonna just grab this one on the other side. We know that it's even back here because um, we've got this other one and it's close enough. So that's yeah, why he has to put close. a board on both sides to yep. keep it. So we're going to just back it up and it really takes two people to do it. So one backing up, one to per tell the person board to stop. Out. A lot of times you might not need an extra board. It just depends on the height. But I've got this little handy thing and this little jack will um, detract from here. So come on down here. And you'll be able to see. So that's good and tight. I moved this one down to one, it actually. A little slower. And that will help also uh, level it just a little bit. All right, RV greenies. Now we got the front stabilizers. We're just going to kind of set them under there and jack it up or make it more stable. So let's come this way. You can look through the griddle of the RV and Carrie, if you want to come over here. If you look through right here, you'll see that that one is kind of bent and because it's there's an awkward spot that causes it to bend, which is okay. So just put that one on that side closest to the battery. So that's how you do it. It's probably good. So we stabilize all four wheels and this keeps us from feeling every movement at night when people are sleeping and moving around. So he's looking through the... Probably should have a uh, piece of wood under this one, but... If they're uneven, he puts a piece of wood underneath. So now we're stabilized. <laughs> 